Okay. All right off the bat. <coughs> okay, all right. <coughs> Woo! Okay, yeah, that's that's hot. Welcome fellow adventurers. It's that adventure guy with another day, another adventure. We're starting today's adventure off right here at the Dollar Tree. And why you might ask? Because I uh, bought something we're gonna need for today's adventure. Got us a clipboard. Also got us some potato skins, but that's for me, not for us. But I'll explain the clipboard in a second. All right, so I just grabbed my bag up, my camera bag is so I keep everything, but in here, I have the reason we got the clipboard. We are gonna be judging the best pickle today at Picklesburg. There you go, there's my logo there, Picklesburg. Best pickle, we're not only doing just the best pickle, we're also gonna be doing the most unique pickle product. So I'm gonna toss these in here for now. And check this out, look what I got made. I got some prizes, I got these as seen on TV, or as seen on that adventure guy, most unique pickle product. And then I got another one made right here. It has uh, the best pickle. So we're gonna head down, down to downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, of course, and see who can, what pickle we can find, what pickle products we can find. And we're gonna do all things, Pits, all things Pittsburgh and all things pickles today. So that's gonna be today's adventure. Join me on this adventure. You shall. All right, so we have made it. We parked at the Rivers Casino like usual, right up there. We're on the fourth floor, walked down the, walked down the stairs. We're heading over. There's the new hotel again. We are heading over. It looks like we're gonna miss it, but there is the subway. We're gonna take the subway downtown because it's free between here and downtown and it's free to park at the casino. So we're gonna park at the casino like we just did, walk over to the subway up there, take it downtown, and then we're gonna go eat some pickles. All right, let's go do this. So walking over towards the subway, there's this, this building right here. If they don't turn this into a haunted house season during Halloween, that is a complete missed opportunity. Look at that thing. Man, you couldn't pay me to walk into that. That is scary looking. But yep, this is the subway right above us, so we're almost there. Okay, so we're now entering the, the subway platform. We have to go up these escalators. There's two sets of them. You can see here, it looks like they're working. So we we'll walk up these. There's also elevators here too, but we're gonna do the escalator. There you go, yep, yep, escalator. I always wondered, what are these little brushy things here for? I, I, I use them, you know, to shine my shoes a little bit, give them a little shoe shine, but I don't know, maybe it's to deter people from putting their feet near there to get their feet stuck. I don't know, it, it actually makes me want to put my feet there, you know. You know, clean them off a little bit, but oh, I don't know. That doesn't look very clean. Maybe I won't do it on this one. But do you know what they're for? And do you do the same thing? Do you clean your shoes on there? Let me know down down at the bottom. Comment below. Dang, looks like we just missed it. Yeah. I have to wait for another one. It, it'll be I have like five or ten minutes. It should be that long. But if you look over here at Heinz Field, the ketchup bottle's back. It's not in the end zone, but at least it's back. So. I call it Heinz Field. It's always going to be Heinz Field to me, but it's actually Akershore Stadium, but it's Heinz Field. There's the catch up there. I guess now that you change it, it's Heinz Field at Akershore Stadium. So the field is actually Heinz Field. The stadium is Akershore Stadium, but I don't know. I'm going to always call it Heinz Field. And right over there is the Carnegie Science Center where we just were a couple videos ago at the submarine. So if you haven't seen that, go, go check out that video too after you're done watching this one. All right, here is the a map of of the subway so we're we're right here right now so we're going to actually take this go across the river there and we're going to get off right there at the gateway station i think it's called the gateway plaza station that's just gonna be like a block or two away from from where hot picklesburg is going so we'll be pretty close okay so as we're sitting here waiting i figured i would uh go over what we're looking at here what we're judging so uh as you can see i got my pen from MSC, from the cruise. If you haven't seen those cruise, that, those videos, those are really good ones. You wanna check those out. There's uh, seven or eight of them. So check those out. It's about me going on a cruise. But this is uh, what we're dealing with. We're gonna be judging, let me put this down. We're gonna be judging appearance, how they look, how they taste, obviously. 
The texture, that's going to be like whether it's crispy, whether it's chewy, crunchy, soggy. In presentation, just it's kind of the same as how it looks, but how, they, how it's presented. And then we're also going to be doing a second thing, like I said before. It's going to be the most unique pickle and pickle product. So, I don't know. Last time I was here, they had pickle popcorn. That was a pretty unique one, but we're going to see what else we can find. And I do have the vendor name up there, but the most unique one, we're going to just put the uh, product name and the vendor down there because it most likely won't be just a regular pickle. So it'll be something separate. But yeah, like I said, I have 15 of these printed up. I'm not sure how many we'll use. I don't know how many vendors there are there, but we're going to go. Then like I showed you before, we have prizes that we're going to be giving out. So still waiting for the, the subway here. It's been about five minutes. But yeah. I'm hungry too, so hopefully there's lots of vendors. And I actually remembered to bring my microphone this time too. I've, I've been forgetting it lately, but brought it this time, so we'll be able to interview people. And yep, just thought I'd show you that. So I don't really have any pickle shirts, so I got this. I got my, actually it's an MTV shirt as you can see there, but it has a little green, green vegetable or vegetation on it, which is close to a vegetable, which I think a pickle is actually a vegetable, so it works out at the end. At least in my logic, it does. But yep, this is this is what we're wearing today. Just thought I'd show it. Still waiting for the subway, though. Still waiting. And it looks like about ten minutes later, our our ride has arrived. Here it comes. Uh, this is what we're gonna be riding. We're gonna be riding. It looks like number. Four, three, two, eight. And uh, and I walked too far. Definitely walked too far down. Oh wow! Passed me right up. All right. Some something that's kind of unique about this is the subway driver. She's up there now, but she was behind us and we're at the end of the line. So she got off the train, walked to the other side of the the subway and. We're on the other side, so we can start driving this way, driving the opposite way now. But we are off, so well, we were off, but now we're stopped again. But away we go. I don't know if they're working on Heinz Field over here. See the little park going. There we go. And away we go. Uh, right, we are at our stop, getting off here and heading over. But yeah, this is a uh, we're at the Gateway Plaza stop. Of course, underground there's some tracks over there and then this is the train that we just used the subway we just used but we're gonna head up the uh, steps there we go all right so just getting up to the top of the steps and look at this just like that we are in downtown Pittsburgh and like I said that's completely free to ride you park at the casino which is also free little little Pittsburgh hacker but look how beautiful this city is okay. The skyscrapers, I mean, that's all made of glass. How awesome is that one? There's another one. It looks like a little castle back there. All right, let's go, let's go find the pickles. Okay, so I was just speaking to some officers over there, asking them which way to go. They said, keep going this way till we get the Boulevard of the Allies, which is down here, then you make a left. So as soon as you get off that subway, you're going to go up here, just keep on walking straight till you get to the, the uh, I think it's called PPG Place, the little black looking castle. Once you get to there, you make a left. Look how awesome this building is. Is this not amazing? Is it not beautiful? Look at that thing. That is called PPG Place. And that is all glass. Would not want to be the window cleaner for that, that's for sure. That's, that's pretty amazing. All right, one more view of the, this building just because it is so awesome looking. That is really cool. I'd love to get inside there someday and see what it's like inside there. I wonder if it gets hot because of all the windows in there. I mean, they are pretty tinted, but I mean, the heat just, I mean, you can see the, right up here, the sun is just beaming off of it. It's got to get kind of warm if you have an office right by the window there. But right next to that, look at this old church here. That's a pretty neat looking thing. Got like, it even has a little statue kind of hanging out that is uh, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. I'm not sure which church that is, but it's a pretty neat looking one. But right over here, is Boulevard of the Alley, uh, is right there. So we're gonna go to this next street, which is right next to this building. And if you look, this uh, the building here, the high mark one, right to the bottom of there, right to the left of there is where we got off the subway. So it's just like three blocks over. 
not a bad walk at all. We're almost there. All right, we are clear to cross the street. So uh, here we go. And it looks like as soon as we cross it, I think we're just, if you look over this ambulance over there, it looks like we're getting right into, right into business. And look at this, we have arrived. It looks like they're getting some music set up here. And not only that, look at this. They have a pickle juice drinking competition. Would you be able to do it? Actually, I'm one of the few people that I like, I like drinking pickle juice. But look, look how many booths there are. Look how busy this is. And it's only like 2.30, 3 o'clock right now. So it's, it's going to get more crowded than this as we go on. All right, right off the bat, we got some unique pickle items. Look at this. We got some bucket hats, a like little purse. It's like scrunchy, some jewelry, T-shirts, everything pickle. Actually, I love that guy's shirt. That has an awesome shirt. Very cool. But let's, let's go judge some pickles. All right, we are now at Excise, Excise? Excise Distillery. And we are here with Jordan. Jordan? And uh, you, uh, you work with them? Yeah, I'm actually one of the owners. There's four of us. Okay, there's four of you? Yeah, yeah okay. four owners. And that's, uh, I do love your logo. Like that? And yeah, we actually had a, uh, a saying on the back because um, our pickle has been really popular since we came out with it. If you can't read this, I if you can read this, you got caught in a pickle at Excise I love Distillery. it. That, that, that is good. That is right? good. But the reason I'm interviewing you yeah. is we have, uh, we're doing a contest for the most, and there is a prize for the winner. Okay. The most unique pickle product. And I hear you guys have something that we, is pretty we unique. We do, man. We what, do. What do you Ours have? is a little bit different. It's not a dill pickle. Okay. Our, our pickle vodka is a, it's a sweet and spicy. It's a homemade brine infused okay. with jalapeno. So it's, and, and it's, it's a vodka, unique. did you say? It is a vodka. Okay. Yeah. 30%, 60 proof. So 30%. Okay. And you know what? If it's okay, I'd love to try a sample of it. Let's get you a sample. Is there one way to judge it to see? if it's the most unique. There you go, buddy. All right, thanks. Like I said, right. sweet and spicy, not a dill. Sweet and um, spicy. Oh. More comparable I do to love like spicy. I, I do love my spicy stuff, so yeah. here we go, bottoms up. Like I said, infused with jalapeno. Okay. Perfect for a Bloody Mary. Oh, you know what? You said sweet and spicy. And first the spicy hits you. The spicy gives you a little kick. Correct. And yes. then, then the sweet comes in. And it's just, there's no aftertaste of, of spicy at all. It's just pure sweetness. That is good. That is really, really good. Thank you. Hey, I'm thank gonna, you. I'm going to take us over here and judge you now. All right, hey, thanks for having us. Thank you. Okay, so we are coming over here. That, that's excise. So we just had a little sample with their, their uh, vodka. So you know what that was? At first, the first taste of it, I thought it was going to be a little bit awful, and then the more it sat on my on my tongue there, the the better it tasted. It was actually really good, really good. It, I could see putting that into a Bloody Mary or something. So I think I'm going to say that was a solid 80. I don't want to go too big right off the top, right off the beginning, because there, I need more room in case there's something better. But that was good. So that's excise. Okay, so we are now here at Bebe's Kitchen. It says, made with love. And we are with, which I'm told, this is the Kimchi King. That's what I've been told. Hi, how are you doing? My so, name is uh, Edward Lai. I am with Bebe's Kitchen. Um, here is a sample he, of our Napa Kimchi. Now, he had prepared uh, a, little bit, a little sample for me. Yes. This is Kimchi. Now, what is Kimchi? Kimchi is um, a very traditional uh, Korean cooking method of fermentation. Okay. So there's many kinds of kimchi. It's just a general term for fermentation okay. and, and pickling. Okay, so it's, it's very pickled. Yeah, yeah so this one is made with uh, cabbage. It's a Napa cabbage. It's cabbage? Uh, cabbage, correct. Okay, so correct. Right. But cabbage. you could, like I said, you could use many different kinds of vegetables. You could use green onions. Okay. We have daikon. Oh, this, is, this one's primary cab primarily cabbage. Correct. All right, well, let's, let's give this a try. I, I do love my cabbage. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Thank you. I got a kick to it. Thank that you very much. Very good though. Yeah, we make it now, all uh, Now it is missing. Yeah. That'd be amazing with some hot sausage on it. Oh yeah, anything. That would on be a hamburger, so you know, so uh, put in some instant noodles. It's it's amazing. Like, all right. uh, it just livens things up, uh, gives it a different, uh, you know. We are judging the, profile. the best pickle. Now this, this is not a, exactly a pickle, but I'm gonna throw you in for the running for it. And there is a prize, so very I will cool. let, let you know if you win. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. much, thank you. And again, that is Bebe's Kitchen. All right, so we're now gonna judge the Bebe's Kitchen. So that was Bebe's Kitchen. 
Sorry, it's a little bit hard for me to write. I'm doing it on here, trying to balance it. Use this with one hand and write with one hand, the other hand. So, appearance, that actually looked really good. So, I'm gonna give that an eight for appearance. The taste. Now, that one, that was really good. That, that was good. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go solid seven with that. Texture, it, it was crunchy, but it could've been crunchier. I'm gonna go five for the texture. Presentation, I'm also gonna give that a six for that. I like the way it was presented. But, oh, that is, all right, eight plus five is 13, plus seven is 20, plus six is 26. So 26, and that's Bebe's Kitchen. So there we go. John and Rachel from the Yajagoff Podcast. Okay, we're, we're in the podcast. And we have a radio show called Yajagoff on Q. From Q929. So what, what, what's it about? What do you guys do? talk about on there? We talk about all things Pittsburgh, from nice. people to places to events to things to new inventions and businesses and how Pittsburgh has changed. I, I do a, a YouTube channel. It's That Adventure Guy. And we go to I go to different, like, Museums, quirky museums. I just did a couple of neat ones. We did the the Moonshot Museum. Have you heard about oh, that yet? Yeah, we we podcasted from there. Twice. Oh, that was that place was amazing. Awesome. Absolutely yes. amazing. Yeah, you should try out Johnny Angel's Ginchy stuff. That actually, I, I'm supposed oh, to be going there the next week or two. That's, oh, is that, that right? And the Bicycle Haven, right there next to it. So yeah. yeah, I'm definitely going to check those out. Oh cool. yeah, well we'll have to check but, you out as well. Uh, so they say uh, you can go to yajagoff.com. Right, got it. and okay. here this is what you have to know. It's not a swear word. People say no. it if you cut me off in the parkway, you say, hey, you jag off. Then the other way is. You're in Giant Eagle and you see someone you haven't seen for quite some time and you say, how do you bet you jag off? That's ours. You know what? I've, I've, I've used the traffic one more than once. <laughs> I've definitely used that. Thanks, guys. But thank you. I'll be definitely checking you guys out. Thank you so much. Okay, I, w I will tell you this Pittsburgh takes their pickles seriously. We were all the way down there. We're gonna skip this for now because they got live music and you know, the copyright stuff. So we're gonna skip that for now, these booths. But it goes all the way down here, back there, around the corner, back here, back there, and way back even over in there, there's a big square of more vendors. So this, and this is all, all pickles. So this is pretty amazing. We, we have our work cut out. Maybe I, maybe I should have printed out more than 15 of these. We'll see. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but somebody's got a drone on it. I'm videotaping him, and I'm guessing he's videotaping me. I'm pretty sure I just found the world's biggest pickle. Look at the size of this up here, this giant inflatable pickle. I mean, look, these are people down there. And look at the size of that. That is that is massive. And look, look, it's right next to that thing. But this, we were back in that little cutaway that I was talking about. And look, there are just so many more vendors back here this just keeps on going on and on but i had to show you the size of this giant pickle and it just definitely would not be a pittsburgh event without the turner tea booth and actually this is the second one i saw one around the corner too so get your turner teas and be as pittsburgh as it gets and this puppy is in his he is loving life right now look at him he's eating everybody's crumbs on the bottom and it's either going to be a puppy or a rubber duck in, in my videos. And it looks like it's going to be the puppy for this one. I don't, I don't think I'm going to find any rubber duckies. There you go. They, they also have a little bunch of these little shot bottles filled with pickle brine. That's pretty cool. All right, we are now at Hoff's, or Half, Half's, Half's Hot Sauce. And we are here with, what's your name? I am Half, actually. Is, is this Half? And what do you got over here for us? Uh, we've got four. Actually, we're down to three pickled hot sauces. Three pickled hot sauces. They had four. We had four. Ghost. Yeah, we actually had five. You had five. Yeah. Is that good that you sold out two of them already? Yeah, we already sold out oh, of two yeah. of our flavors. Check out these shoes that he has. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, my friend made those for I us do with love the those. artwork on our bottles. Very, oh, he does the artwork too. That is cool. And you guys have every uh, label from uh, Ohio artists, and we're starting to spread out to other states. Very cool. Now, what I'm doing is I'm doing uh, the best pickle, and you guys don't have pickles here, but I also have down at the bottom here pickle the products. most unique pickle product, which I think this would qualify for. Yeah. So I'm going to try have a sample if that's okay with you. Oh, absolutely. This and is you, our second year here too. You let me know 
which one I should try. So um, I used the tongs and got myself a chip. Yep. Start with the trippy pickle. That's our milder dill pickle. The, jalapeno that's, and habanero. That's this one all the way on the left here, right? Yep. Okay. My nine-year-old son helped me create that. Oh, nice. It just says nine-year-old son helped make these. So we're, we'll give this one a shot here. There we go. Give it a nice dip in. And down the hatch. Oh, that's really good. That is, that is, like you said, it's very mild and definitely has a really good, strong pickle flavor. You know what? I said it was mild, but the longer it's in my mouth, the, the spice are getting. It does heat up a little bit. It is very, very good. All right, and we'll try one more if that's okay with you. So which, which, other, which would be the, the uh, one you would... I'm going to set you on fire with the second best okay. seller. That is our okay, this is um, yellow killer Maruka pickle. Scorpion okay, and okay. Pickle. I, I, I think he's trying to hurt me now. He's gonna give me, he said this is the hottest one. He said he's gonna set my mouth on fire. So we used the tongs. We grabbed ourselves a chip. And which that's the one all the way in the right here? Yep. Right all right, there. so we're gonna we're gonna go with the killer pickle. I and mean, I probably went with way too much already. Just but. rub it on your gums. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smell this real quick. That'll make the best bloody mary you've oh, ever yeah. had. Yeah, Take you can you can already shred. smell the heat of this. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. Okay, right off the bat. <coughs> okay, right. <coughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's that's hot. That's. I definitely went way too heavy on it. This guy over here is trying to kill me, and we are. Yeah, please don't test my liability insurance. <laughs> it's not that good. We are at hot sauce. Okay, it's starting to go down a little bit, but it's still my mouth is still on fire, and we are going to take. Our sheet over here, and you go, go score. <coughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So again, my mouth, my mouth is still burning from that over there. It is still on fire. But again, we are at half pickle. So that's we're gonna put that down here. H A F F S and pickle salsa. Okay. Now I am gonna, I'm gonna judge the the first one. I. As much as I like hot stuff, that, that second one was, my mouth is still on fire. I need to find something to drink. Maybe, maybe I'll find some pickle brine somewhere to drink to follow that down. But, oh man, I'm sorry. My nose is watering right now. It is hot out. So we're going to go, I'm going to go with the mild one. The mild one, I like that much more. So I'm going to go, it was really good actually. It was really, really good. I'm going to go 61. Now it wasn't the most unique thing. I mean, it's just a salsa. And salsa is basically ground up vegetables usually. So, taste-wise, if it was just going, if I was judging it as a salsa, I would go much higher. But since I'm going for unique products, I'm going 61 with that. All right, over here, we have Millie's, which is the ice cream truck. And they have a pickle sorbet. They also have a, a grilled cheese sorbet, or they actually have grilled cheese. I think that's a grilled cheese sorbet. Now, that's not a pickle thing, but that is definitely unique. But we're not going to be able to judge that because that's not pickle. But I don't know, if the line dies down, we might try the pickle sorbet. Okay, so again, we are at Millie's right now and they are giving me a little sample. And that is this right here, the, this pickle sorbet. Here it is, oh man, let's take it. Oh, it smells like pickle. Let's, let's, let's down the hatchet. Oh, that is interesting. That is good. And actually that is, Right over there is the place that set my, my mouth on fire. And then we're over here right now, look at that. And we just had, that cooled it off. Now, we're gonna come over here the way so they don't see me judging it, so it's fair. Okay, so it is a very unique flavor. That has, it is very ice cream flavor, like almost like a, has like a vanilla. And then after you get past the initial Thing, you get the you get the pickle so it definitely has a very strong pickle but not at first at first it's more of a vanilla flavor that's that's good I am going to go with a sorry <laughs> my, my battery died on me but we're still here I didn't judge it yet but like I said that was very sweet at first it, it just tasted like ice cream and then after that wore off you got the really really strong hint of, of pickle that was really good I'm gonna go that's a solid, I'm going to say 79 for that. And so, yeah, that's a, definitely a top contender. 
So once we get done, I'm going to narrow it down to the top three, and then, and then we'll go talk about the three of them and pick a winner from there. So there we go. Let's go find some more pickles. What's up? We are down here. We are over at Copper Coast Confections. And we are with, what's your name? I'm Liz. Okay, Liz, and you work for them or you own it? Or? Yeah, well, my husband owns you're it. Home? Okay, yep. so basically you're the, you run yeah. it then, is what you're exactly. telling me. That's what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> So what like do we have answer. here? It looks like we got some fudge. Yeah, so we have um, a, actually oh a few different things. All kinds of fudges, we yes. Have, yes, tons of different flavors. But there is two or three in, in that, that's going to... We have about four, four different p pickle flavors. Pickle ones, and that's what we're here for. Yes. We're going to try one. We're going to give one of these. So Absolutely. We got, okay, pickleback. I've had those before. I I don't know if you're familiar with picklebacks, but that's pickle juice and, and Jameson. Yes, sir, so you got it. I, I've, I've had one or two of those in my lifetime. <laughs> But uh, we also have spicy pickle, pickleburg or Pit, Pittsburgh pickle. What's what's the difference between a Pittsburgh pickle and a pickle? Um, so the pickle, it's just like a sweet dill. So you're gonna actually okay. get that on the back end. Um, it has a little bit like of a sweetness and then a little bit of a vinegar to it as well. Okay, great. And you said you had four. What's the fourth one? The fourth one oh, is our right, pickle right payday. Right yeah. Okay. So it's a pickle peanut payday. butter, a, a, that sweet dill oh, pickle on man, top, and then caramel good. and peanuts. Okay, and you got the spicy one, which yes. I'm gonna let you pick my sample for me, oh, but I'm gonna. Oh man, okay. You can I'm have gonna, a couple if you want. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna put the pick the regular pickle one out. You got it's it. It's just a regular pickle. We want something something Different, more unique. unique. We're gonna, like I, I said, it's a you. unique contest, so Absolutely. we're going for the most unique. So I'm gonna definitely say I want I want to try the pickle back. Okay. The pickle back. I one. can let you try all three if you'd like. Or are you picking one? Sure, we'll try all three. Just Except real small, real you small. You got it. All right. Can you give a, cup, a sample of these three? Yeah. All, All right. right. Okay. So this one is the pickle back. This is the pickle back right here. This is we get down here so you can see it good. That's what we're dealing with. And then down the hatch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um, perfect. That does that. At first, at first it tastes just like it tastes like fudge at first, and then, then the, the uh, the pickle back. I mean, it tastes just like the aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, do like you smell my breath right now? Yeah, we kind of designed it that way so you would get the pickle in the in the front, and then yep. you'd get that whiskey taste in the back. Yeah. If I got oh. pulled over right now, it wouldn't be good. <laughs> okay. So I next we have. Next this is the spicy. We got the spicy, spicy pickle. Yep. So we're we're gonna go here with the spicy pickle. Yeah. Now this is the same exact concept. You're gonna okay. get the dill in the front, and then you're gonna you have to wait about five seconds. Then you're gonna get that spice. Okay. Now I was over there at the house pickles and they gave me a salsa and it was called death pickle. <laughs> that was about a half hour ago. My mouth is still on fire. Oh, is gosh. this, is this going to do that to me too? No, I don't think so. Okay. But <laughs> I hope not. But I hope let's go. Not. I hope it does have some kick to it because I do like a spicy pickle. You got it. There we go. Give it about okay. five seconds. That was good. That was good. Okay, that, it, it, it's a subtle, it's a subtle. Yep. Yep. It kind of, it kind of sneaks up on you at the yeah. end. But yeah, that's that's nowhere near as hot as that. Yeah, so this yeah. Is, this is something that's manageable. That one's yes. manageable. I personally, I, I'm saying the uh, the pickleback. Pickleback's still my your favorite one so far. Now I do like me some some peanut butter, some peanuts and caramel. So yep, and pickles. So this that's a very unique combination. Yeah, here. it's a sweet peanut butter and then that it's, pickle and then a layer of caramel and then salted roasted peanuts on top. All right, and down the hatch. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh no. That one just like hits the spot. Now I can know? only judge one. I have to pick my favorite out of the three of these that I'm going to judge. I thought for sure it was going to be this one because that yeah. one is that good. Yeah. But, oh, this is, oh, this is tough. I'm going to go, I have to go with this one. I'm going to go, the pickle payday was my favorite. That's probably our best seller out of those four. Oh, I'm, just presentation wise, yep. look at that. That's <laughs> amazing. They all are amazing, but that one, oh, love it. Yeah. Very good. Thank you awesome. so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Okay, so that one was Copper Coast. Coast. Fudge. And I thought for sure I was going to, the pickle back, I didn't think anything was going to be bad. And then I had had the one on the very end there the, with the peanuts and everything, the, oh, the caramel. That was so good. I'm gonna go. I, oh, I, I'm gonna go 80. I'm on 80. That's up here. That's so far. Just about everything's been really good. But that was that was excellent. Very good. Again, that's Copper Coast Confections. 
All right, our next stop, actually, I'll take, I was starting over there, but there's a garbage can. This, this one looks a lot better. We're gonna go over here. We're at Wiggle Whiskey. This is with, with 1G, and we are, is this the, the, the uh, Uda Pickle? And they gave me a little sample here to try out. They are in the Strip District in, in downtown, or not in downtown Pittsburgh, in the Strip District of Pittsburgh. So we're gonna try a little shot of this and see how it goes. Oh, that is, that is good. That is, it definitely is, definitely is whiskey, but it has a very strong pickle taste to it. So we're gonna take this out, thank you so much. We're gonna take our scoreboard over here and give it a score. You just had to finish it. I don't wanna waste a drop. All right, well thank you guys. Okay, so we were over there at that booth right there, that little one with the white tent, that was the Wiggle Whiskey find a little table here to, to score them. Now, the whiskey's taste right off the bat, very strong. It is a very, very strong whiskey. The pickle taste, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. It almost tasted kind of artificial. It didn't have like an authentic pickle taste to it. So I think we're gonna go, it is definitely unique, but but I, I, don't, think it, I don't think it was pulled off too good. I think it could have done better. It wasn't terrible by any, chance, by any means, it was, it was good but I've had better. So like the vodka one I think was definitely better. So we're gonna go a 51 for that. So that's Wiggle Whiskey. The wind has picked up guys. We, this pickle is coming down I think. We, we're having a pickle catastrophe coming on here. Look at this, this, this pickle's struggling right now. It's struggling. This pickle's all over the place. Oh look, we got the people down here trying to hold it in place. Oh, they're gating it off. You, we walked underneath the pickle when we came in, but it looks like they're gaining it off because this, this pickle is a little bit out of control. Look at this thing. Now, could you imagine if this pickle got loose and hit you and hurt you somewhere? I'm trying to explain that to your boss. What happened to you? Uh, I got hurt by a pickle. pickle. Pickle accident, pickle accident. Looks like we have KDK right here. They're uh, documenting the downfall of the pickle. Down goes the pickle! Down goes the pickle! Okay, we have made it over to the Heinz History Center. They got a little shop set up. And actually, I wanted to show you guys this. This is something that I've had in my family for years. Not this exact one right there, but we have had a pickle ornament for your Christmas tree. Now, it's always been tradition in my family, at least, that they hide the pickle ornament inside the Christmas tree. And then on Christmas Day, the first person that finds it gets to either open up the first present or gets a special present of their own. So now throughout the years, I cannot tell you how many times that nobody's found the pickle and the person that hid the pickle forgot where they hid it and it's just been lost. So there's probably about three or four pickles now hidden inside our Christmas tree somewhere still to this day. Okay, we are now over here at Eternally Yours Gourmet Popcorn and Sweet Treats. And we are with... Adio Fjordage, I'm the owner. Okay, he's the owner. And uh, what do you guys got for us today? We got all kinds of different flavors of popcorn, but you know, for here we do dill pickle. Okay. And uh, exclusively for this event, we only do hot pickle and bread and butter kettle corn. Okay, so, so we got these are the only the times that pickle, you can get these are here. The hot pickle and the bread and butter. Now, which one would you say is the best seller out of those three? Dill pickle by dill far. Pe dill yeah. pickle. Yeah, we sell. Right. We'll sell dill pickle Damn. more than any, any other flavor that we have, but we bring and, a bunch of other flavors as well. You were telling me that you have something that's not popcorn over there too. That I think we might give it a try too, right? Correct. Yeah, we so. do. Uh, we right do Hawaiian there. shaved ice, uh, some shaved ice, which which is going to be, and we also do a dill pickle shaved ice, but we do lemonade as well, and we do a a, uh, a dill pickle lemonade. Oh, that sounds amazing right now. Yeah. Like I said, I I was telling him I had that death pickle. Now that's that's been at least a half hour ago, maybe 40 minutes ago, and my mouth is still on fire from it. So we're going to get that ready for us. We're going to try it out, and then we're going to we're going to give them a score and see how they do on it. All right, All right well, thank you very much. Okay. All right, so this. This is what we're dealing with. This, this is definitely the biggest sample, which I'm pretty sure is not a sample. But this looks good. And actually, if I see if I can move it around here, maybe with a straw. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see right there. There, there is actually pickles. There you go. There it is. There's a pickle floating around inside the lemonade. So let's give this a shot. Let's give this a try. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It is, it's definitely lemonade and pickle. I mean, and it's like equal, I'm, I'm still here with him. It's like pretty much equal parts 
lemonade and pickle too. So yeah. it's not, not like the lemonade sticks out and not like the pickle, it just blends together perfectly. That is really good. And you were saying that you don't use just regular yeah, sugar in it. We don't use regular cane sugar to be able to put in there. We make a simple syrup. So he so makes that, simple syrup. Right, and, so that you're gonna get a good blend of the sweetness from the very first yeah, taste is, to the very last It taste. is definitely, it is very good. And you said that you make the, the simple syrup yourself too, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's, that is very good. Thank you so much. Well, I'm Thank gonna you. head over there and judge it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you are definitely towards the top. Cool. That is really good. Thank you so much. No problem, thanks. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tough because this is really, really good. Now, and it's unique. It's lemonade, it's pickle juice, it's really good. He makes his own simple syrup. That's the wiggle whiskey, that's not in the running. The fudge, that is definitely in the running. And then this is the big pickle. It, the pickle was, uh, there, it's still right there. It's right next to the pickle. So that's where this place is. Oh man. I'm, I'm kind of torn here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to tie this one with the other ones. I'm sorry. I know it's kind of a cop out on my point, but I need to go review, think about things and think about the, how, which one that I really like the best. But that, I mean, that, that one might be the winner. I'm not going to lie. That, that's up there for the winner. All right. I'm definitely running out of hands. I got this in one hand, the clipboard on the other hand, and of course I'm holding the, the uh, camera with my third hand, or my, not my third hand, my second hand. So. Got three things, two hands, and I still got the microphone, and that's in my pocket right now. That's down there in my pocket. But yeah. Oh, so good. But yeah, running out of hands. I think the fountain's still on over there. All right, so the pickle was right about there, and now, oh, it's all the way down here. But at this view, you can see, see those people? You can see just how massive the pickle really is. I mean, those are people. That's a pickle. That's got to be some kind of record for the world's biggest pickle right there. It has to be. So, still working on this lemonade. And now you guys said it is so good. All right. So, I'm actually underneath one of these, uh, what is it called? The Big Black Castle right now. But I came to kind of collect my thoughts and rethink this contest. Because right now, I think we only have, there's not very many people actually selling pickles it's all unique pickle products so instead of doing the best pickle we are going to do the most unique pickle products and we're going to we're going to pick two winners instead of one so that's what we're going to give we're going to give out two of the prizes we're going to give them both to the most unique ones because there's definitely more of a contest competition going on for there than there is best pickle so picklesburg as far as regular pickles go hard to find unique pickle products now that's a different story there are a ton of unique pickle products here so we're gonna keep on looking we're only about halfway through it all right and if you're wondering there is actually official merchandise let's go in and check it out this is actually inside this building here I'm not sure I guess this is still part of PPG place so we're gonna take a look inside here see see what we can find oh and I just finished this finally finished it that was so good Okay, this is where everyone's getting the balloons from. So, we're just gonna, we're not gonna wait in this line. We're just gonna take a peek, peek from the, the corner over here. Okay, here's the prices over here if you're interested. Looks like the pickle balloons are $8. Yeah, souvenir cups, a fork pack of cups for $3. A stress pickle for $5, a tattoo for one. Oh yeah, let's take, take a little peek over here. And look at that, you got all kinds of shirts. A ton of pickle balloons up there. You got the shirts over here. Okay, so right there, that looks, those are the cups that looks like right there. You see them in the back right there? It's little plastic cups. But yeah, lots and lots of different shirts. Pretty cool. I found over here. Somebody wants in my camera bag, huh? Somebody wants to, you want to be a photographer? You're such a cutie. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh. Look, here's another one. And this is your brother, sister? This is his cousin. Your cousin. Oh, you're such a beauty, too. You're such cute dogs. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we are going to pass on, on the, the pickle pizza because as far as uniqueness goes, I think pickle just qualifies as a topping. I, don't, I mean, it's unique, but I don't think it's quite unique enough for our contest. So we're going we're gonna to pass on that one. 
Okay, so we made it to the front of the Crooked Creek Distillery, and look what they have here. And we are with Michelle. Michelle, and you are uh, you work for Crooked Creek? Yeah, I'm a manager. Uh, you manager? I, I do a lot of the infusions. Okay, and so where are you guys located West, at? Uh, West Newton. West Newton, and I was telling her that you guys are up for oh. the most unique pickle product. And it looks like you guys have quite a few of them here. Yeah, so this is our third year. Um, and we started with Dill Moonshine and a Bloody Mary Vodka that was still forward. Okay. And then last year we brought into uh, Moonshine Pickles that are soaked in pickle I'm, I'm going to take a wild pie. guess that that's probably your best seller here today. It right? is not, actually. No. Believe it or not, our pickled margaritas pickled are Pickled margarita. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, this year we came with another product with cucumber lemon dill vodka. Oh, that sounds good. You know what? Actually, it wasn't alcohol, but I had over there. It was a lemonade, a pickle lemonade mix, and it was unbelievable. It was so good. Yeah, yeah, it was you'd really be good. I, I was. Juice goes well in. I was like, this is gonna be gross. I'd say, I, I, they gave me a big cup of it. I was like, wow, I finished the whole thing. It was yeah. so good. Yeah. So, uh, you said you have some samples here. Yes. What, what are we gonna be trying today? Um, so you can try any of our uh, our uh, straight alcohol products. Okay. So you could try the dill moonshine, you could try the cucumber lemon vodka, you could try the Bloody Mary, or you can try the brine that the pickles are done in. Well, how about this? Which two would you recommend? I, I'm, I gotta keep them pickled. So. Uh, okay, let's go with the dill moonshine. The dill moonshine? The dill moonshine. Come on. Over there. You got the cooler ready of everything? And this is the dill moonshine. Yes. So this is a moonshine that I've um, infused with cu cucumbers, okay. uh, dill, cucumbers, garlic, dill, garlic, black peppercorn, and yellow mustard seed. Oh, it's it smells really good. All right, down the hatch. Oh, that is surprisingly really really smooth. I had I'm not going to name who it was, but there's another place over there. This one has it beat. Thank Definitely you. has it beat. Thank you. This is really good. I want you to try one more. I'm going to oh, have you try okay. our newest one this year, which is the cucumber lemon dill vodka. Okay, this is actually, after the, the first hint of moonshine's gone, it is surprisingly really refreshing. Thank you. It is, you get the cucumber out of it, it's really good. I'm going to toss this on there. Okay, we're going to try one more while we're at it. We'll have to open the bottle. There we go, pouring it for us. Oh, looks like we almost got to the end of that one. And which one is this again? So this is our, our newest addition okay. to the family. It's a cucumber lemon dill vodka. Cucumber lemon dill vodka. That's a mouthful. It is. No, and it's going to be a mouthful too. So I used fresh cucumbers in this, lemon peel, um, and uh, lots of fresh dill. Oh, that is, that is really, really refreshing. That's like the only word I have to describe it. It's super refreshing. That is really good. That's got to be good chilled on a hot day. It is. So we're featuring a cucumber spritzer with that today. I, I saw that over there. Yeah. That, yeah. I, I, I actually waited in that line. I thought that was for the samples over there. So I waited in the line. But if you don't, you don't have to wait in the line for the samples. Just come right here to the front here. They take care of you. And again, this is the Crooked Creek Distillery. And where'd you say you were? Michelle. We're looking in West Newton. West Newton, PA. So come check them out. They were really good. Thank you so much. Thank you that this guy right here has the, the shirt of the day. Look at this. You got the Pickle Rick at Pittsburgh's Pickleburg. So that is awesome. Great shirt. Nice to see it. And if you do come down here, there are plenty of bathrooms. So no need to worry about that. And check out this wall. It has a water fountain coming down the side of the wall. That is pretty cool. Pretty neat looking. I just had to come over here to get a closer look at this. This is so cool. Look at this. That's just on the side of a building, guys. Look, look, there's the building, the side of it. And just this waterfall coming down the side of a building. And actually, you get a little splash over it. It's a little bit refreshing. Very cool. Very neat touch. Okay, so we did the Crooked Creek. We had the, the two moonshines that they had. And they were both really good. That second one was extremely refreshing. So we're going to give them that's that's a solid 75 I think so we're gonna go 75 for that so that's that's a total for Crooked Creek 75 all right so we just moved on we're now at Tommy's Jerky look at this they have a ton of beef jerky here and when we're here is what's your name Jonathan uh, Jonathan and 
they got a bunch of different flavors here, but we're only interested in, in something in particular, the unique pickle flavored jerkies. Yep. You think you can hook me up with a sample for it? Sure. And while you're doing that, where are you guys located at? East Liverpool, Ohio. East Liverpool, Ohio. Okay, well, which one's this? This is, that is the Wild, wild Dill, Dill Pickle. pickle. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, so it starts off a very strong beef jerky taste, which is really good. Very good beef jerky. And then, then you get into the, the pickle flavor after that, which is really a good natural pickle flavor. That was very, very good. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And we said, we got a bunch of people here. We do have prizes if you're a winner. So if you are a winner, I'll come back with your prize. Awesome. Thanks All right, so well, thank you. All right. We just finished up with Tommy's jerky. It was really good, actually. Very good, very good. Uh, na the taste of the jerky was unbelievable. The pickle flavor, it was there. It was very subtle. It could have been, it could have been stronger, but it was actually very, good, really good jerky, really good jerky. I just wish that the pickle flavor was stronger. So we're gonna go give them a 63. It was good, don't get me wrong, that's, that's a good score. It was actually very good. It's just, I wish that there was more of a pickle since we're judging unique pickle products. The pickle flavor could have been a little bit stronger, but as far as jerky goes, that was extremely very, very good jerky. So I really uh, am regretting not bringing some water because with all of this pickle and brine and vinegar, my, my throat's really starting to feel it right now. I'm losing my voice a little bit, but you know what? It was worth it. Definitely had some good things, had some unique things. We got a little bit more to go, but I'm gonna be wrapping up soon because my battery's about to die, so. And I'm on my fourth one already, so. Let's go uh, finish this up. All right, over here we have the Sub-Zero Nitrogen Ice Cream. And check this out. Look what this guy's doing. Look, they are making ice cream actually in, in nitrogen. Look at this. He has filled the bowl up with nitrogen. Look at that smoke. That is so cool looking. Oh, man, that's going to be great today, too, because it's, it's pretty toasty out here. It's a little bit warm. Very cool. Thank you. That. I mean, the whole thing is just nothing but smoke right now. Very cool. Oh, look. People down here. There goes, there goes a pickle. Pick, loose pickle. Uh, see it up there? Pickle floating away. Oh, man, there's two of them. There's another one up there, too. It just flew away. You got two pickles flying away. And then, those are $8 each. So that's, that's 16 bucks right there. We are now at the Cultural District booth where they have a bunch of stuff going on here. And they have a wheel to spin. You scan this code, you can spin a wheel, you get to win some prizes, maybe some tickets. But they have a, a sale coming up. Look at all these shows that they have coming up here. Very cool. And they got some stickers and things here. And again, there's some more if you want to sign up for their, their list. But we're going to go over here, we're going to spin this wheel, and we're going to see what we can win. All right, it is my turn. And actually, this right here, that's, that's the one I want, the Muppets Christmas Carol. So let's, let's see what we, we can get. All right. Big spin. Let's see what we win here. Oh, we got, oh, that was close. That's Nutcracker. I like the Nutcracker. I, all right. Big winner here. Okay. All right. And again, that's at the Cultural District booth here. So I just want a pair of tickets to see the Nutcracker. Very cool. Thank you. Oh, oh, geez, look what we have. We got the parrot here. Oh, oh, we just got attacked by a parrot, guys. The pirate parrot just attacked us. But hey, just to clarify, we are in the running. It's a raffle. We have our name in for a pair of tickets. So we did not win the pair, the pair of tickets. I have parrot on my mind now. So say parrot tickets, a pair of tickets, not parrot tickets, but pair of tickets. So we didn't win the tickets, but we won a chance to win the tickets. Oh, look at this. Oh, we have. We have the pear and the pierogi. It's double peas here. Pear first pierogi. Oh, pierogi parent love. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that that parent is hyper today, man. He is on next level right now. Uh, all right, here here's another look at that gigantic Heinz pickle ornament. But, 
That I expected to see here, but there is something I didn't expect to see here. There's a stage, but look at this. We have ourselves, this is probably about 20 feet tall leg lamp. Let me see if I can get back to get a bigger picture of it. We got ourselves a massive leg lamp here from the Christmas story. I guess it's part of their, their downtown holiday party, but look at this. You go over there, a pickled Christmas over there, but very cool. Did not expect to see a leg lamp. And we made it down. This is the stage over here on the far end. I thought this was the end of it. I was wrong. There's more. So let's keep on looking. What's his name? Oh, look at this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, oh. what do you got in there? Huh? Oh, it even has his name in there, Titan? Oh, he's so cute. I love your little strawberry barrel. Very cool. Love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Very cute. I wonder if there's whiskey in it. I should have asked. Oh well. Although they, that, that had enough slobber on it, I don't know if I'd want that whiskey. All right, we are here at Country Hammer Moonshine, and guess what I have? I got another sample, and we are here with. My name is Gabriella Reed. Is what? Gabriella Reed. Gabriella. And you work for Country Hammer? Yes, I do. Okay, did you guys used to be in Robinson? Yes, we did. Okay, I thought it looked familiar. So we are no longer at Robinson. Our okay. three main stores are going to be at Bethel Park, Clareton, and mm -hmm. Irwin. Okay, and what do I have here? You have our Dill Pickle Country Hammer Moonshine. It is only available during this event. Oh, okay. So once so, it's gone from this event, So you gone. have two more days after today to get here. Yep. And again, she doesn't know this yet, but I am doing a contest for the most unique pickle product. And you guys are now officially entered as soon as I take this. Awesome. So let's do this. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Oh. Okay. Now, I've had a couple different moonshines here, obviously, so far. This one is definitely the most authentic tasting pickle. Yep. It is not, it doesn't burn. It's very smooth. It is extremely refreshing. That is, all right, I shouldn't be saying this, but that's the, that's the best moonshine <laughs> I've had here so far. That is really good. Again, this is, oh, here you go. Here's the sign right here. The Country Hammer Moonshine. So if you're down here, this is in the little side street by next to the one stage on the far end from where we came in. So check them out. It is really good. Very refreshing. And thank you again very much. You're welcome. Okay. Well, I rated them, I forgot to show, but I rated them a 78 which unfortunately is not enough to be one of our winners for today. But I am definitely going to give them the winner for the best moonshine here. It was so good, in fact, I picked up a jar of it. It's a small jar there, but it was $8 for the jar. It has some pickles in it, and I just, it, was, it is so good. Extremely good. I actually have some uh, Bloody Mary mix at home, and I'm going to try it in there when I get home. So that is the winner for the best moonshine. There you go. Country Hammer Moon. All right, well, one thing that's kind of nice is the streets, as you saw, were really crowded. And that's over there, but they have it blocked off here. So if you don't want to go through all the vendors and through everything, you can walk through this. It's nice and open. It's shaded, it's cool. But we're gonna go go give our, the winners their prizes because uh, I'm gonna explain to you why I picked the two winners that we did. We're gonna pick the two most unique places that I think most unique pickle products that we found. Again, I was going to do the, the best pickles, but there weren't enough just pickles. So we're going to do the most unique pickle products. And we got two winners. And honestly, I can't pick a favorite either two. They're tied. So we're going to give a prize to each of them. Okay, good news. The, the pickle is back up. You can walk underneath the pickle again. Well, that's good to see. The, the wind got down enough that, that they could put the pickle back up. And actually, we're heading over... If you're in this corner here where the pickle is, that is where you're going to be able to find not one, but both of our winners. So let's go give the winners their prizes. All right, we we are back here where I had that lemonade, the pickle lemonade, and we're with Thaddeo. Yes. And I would like to congratulate you. It's not tech. You guys did. You technically did give me a pickle because there was a pickle inside of there. Okay. And that was by far probably the best thing I had here today. So you guys got, the, got one of the prizes for today, for the Excellent. best pickle. Yeah, I, I am really humbled by it. that. I appreciate it. It was very good. So thank you. And thank you. Enjoy your, your little flack here. All right. But thank you, thank so, you much. so much. If you guys are here, like I said, look, look for the uh, Big Black Castle. Find this Hawaiian ice thing, and that's where you can get the, the pickle lemonade. It was very good. So thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. That's pretty cool.
again, this is, you can see, he's, he's back there showing off his little prize right there. You can see him showing off the prize. So he's happy to have it. That's, that's the stand right there. So if you see it, uh, make sure you stop by. But they also have pickled popcorn. I get a chance to try that. But definitely try the, the pickled lemonade. It is extremely good. They won, they won first prize for the best pickle because there technically was a pickle inside the lemonade. So okay, there you go. You can see I'm looking at the, the prize over there. But very cool. I'm glad they enjoyed it. All right. We were over at the Hawaiian Ice Place where we gave out the best pickle. Now we are at the Copper, uh, Copper Coast, the Copper Coast Confections. And look who we have here. Hi. She's back. I'm back. And we have a little surprise for her. Oh, she oh won the most unique pickle product of 2023. Oh my gosh, the thank you so much. You are so well. You guys deserved it. And that was for, let's, let's go one more time and show them what you guys got. Okay, so we tried the, the, the pickleback, which I thought that was going to be the winner. But this right here, the pickle payday, that, that won you the grand prize. So congratulations. And you know what? We're going to give you a slice. What's that? We're going to give you a slice. Oh, oh I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Sure. Oh, my gosh. And you We're know what? So I am going to take that home because my parents love fudge. Absolutely. And they weren't able to be here today, so I'm going to take that home and give it to yes, them. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. So we thank are so you excited. so much. We're going to put it in Just our have to office. promise you. I was going to say, make sure you display it for yeah, me. Yeah, we're going to display it. Can we tag you? You can absolutely tag okay, me. Awesome. And uh, do me one more favor. Sure. Tell my, my people, there's 98% of the people that watch my channel haven't subscribed yet, so can you tell them to subscribe? You need to subscribe. Thank subscribe. You. you need to. Absolutely. Do it. <laughs> Hit subscribe. So thank you so You're much welcome. and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are great. That's so awesome. Here, we'll grab you a slice. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations, thank guys. You. Look at them. <laughs> Very cool. Look, okay. Oh, here you go. And look what they got for me. They're going to give me a little slice here. And you know what? I got somebody that I am going to give this to. Absolutely. Like I said, this is going to, my parents couldn't be here today, so yes. that is going to them. Go fun in the bag. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Let me get you. So it is actually on your wall. Yeah, oh, oh there God, you thank go. You, thank <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you. Have a I'm going to enjoy this. Thank you again so much. Yeah. Well, we came. We had some pickles. We had a bunch of moonshine. But more importantly, we had some lemonade, some pickled lemonade, and possibly the best fudge I have ever had. But I've had enough salt today that. I need to go home and drink about a gallon and a half of water. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. And I will see you on the next adventure. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that other stuff below. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.